Thinking of making your wedding cakes, birthday cakes, snacks, small chops, or delicious tasting desserts? Think Mix and Bake Confectionery and School. We bake cakes for all occasions as well as mouth-watering snacks and desserts. At Mix and Bake Confectionery and School, we also offer you the opportunity to learn and master the art of cake baking, decoration, and sugar crafting. You can also take your PME Professional Diploma course at Mix and Bake School, as we are recognized across the globe as a pioneer in the teaching of PME Professional Diploma course. We also stock a wide array of cake baking and decoration accessories, such as cake decorating tools, edible photo machines, airbrush machines, wedding cake stands, cutters, and many more. Visit us at Ikeja 74 Ogunusi Road by Grammar School Bus Stop Ojedubega Ikeja, Lagos or call 0803-727-6296 or 0704-605-3415. Hello viewers, uh, welcome to another interesting episode of Cake Decorating. With me here today, assisting me in uh, decorating is Tope Adewusi. She's the head of sugar craft in Mix and Big School. Hello. Today we have a, a very interesting cake decorating technique to teach you. As you can see, we have uh, a decorated cake on the table. We'll be teaching you how to decorate that cake from the scratch using fondant icing. Fondant icing is also referred to as sugar paste. And we will be taking our recipe from the Mix and Bake Cakes and Sugar Craft magazine. Have you gotten your copy yet? If you haven't, you're probably missing out a lot. There are so many different uh, fondant uh, recipes. Today we'll be teaching you a special fondant recipe, stressless fondant recipe taken from the Mix and Bake Cakes and Sugar Craft magazine. All right, uh, on the screen you will see all the different um, ingredients we'll be needing to use to mix our fondant recipe. So, starting with uh, glucose, we have the glucose, not the glucose D. There are various glucose and what we are using for this particular fondant is uh, the, the stretchy glucose used for sugar paste. Corn syrup is also a type of glucose you can use. We have uh, water as part of our recipe. We have vegetable shortening. Vegetable shortening. We have what we call CMC. Then... Um, eggs, then of course our uh, icing sugar. So please stay tuned as we commence the mixing, the step-by-step -step mixing of sugar paste or fondant. You will start with uh, separating your eggs. As you can see, we have uh, two eggs you separate the egg white from the egg yolk, very important. The egg white separated from the egg yolk. What we really need is the egg yolk, the egg white, sorry. We need the egg white to achieve this particular type of fondant. You grab your whisk and whisk the egg white until really fluffy and foamy. The egg white is also referred to as the albumen, the albumen of an egg. So you whisk until it's quite foamy. After whisking and you get an effect like this, you set it aside and move on to the next uh, procedure. That is by mixing water and glucose water and glucose so you add your glucose into your water remember we're not using the glucose d that athletes use for more information on uh, the ingredients we are using just come around to mix and bake all these ingredients are available for sale so give it a good mix all right, so as you can see, the fondant and water mixture 
has blended in properly. So we set this aside too and move on to the next thing, which is our CMC. We add our CMC into the icing sugar. We add the CMC into the icing sugar and give it a good stir. Then we make a well in the middle of our icing sugar. We start by pouring in our well whisked egg. Remember the egg albumen or the egg white. We give it a good mix again. Note we are mixing fondant icing, also called sugar paste icing. Then we add our glucose and water mixture. All right, after pouring in your glucose and water solution, your egg, you mix properly in the bowl. Then afterwards, you empty or spread some icing sugar on your surface, either marble for mica surface, then empty the mixture of fondant onto the board. That's to enable us to mix it into a smooth paste to be able to cover our cake. At this point, you would have to get ready to use your hands. Make sure your hands are clean because we're going to be using our hands right now to mix our fondant into a very smooth paste. So watch the technique of kneading and mixing your fondant. Remember, you should always have icing sugar or confectioner's sugar, the same name, just different uh, ways of calling it, icing sugar or confectioner's sugar on your surface and keep adding more icing sugar. What we are trying to achieve is a smooth, non-sticky paste. Once it's still sticky, you need to add more icing sugar. So watch as we mix. Now, to cover your cake, you need a rolling pin. There are several rolling pins available in the market. This is a kind of rolling pin. We have other candle rolling pins to achieve our purpose. And of course, we will be covering this cake to get that design. The first thing you need to do is cover the first layer of the cake with uh, butter icing. In a few episodes to come, we'll teach you how to mix butter icing from scratch to finish. So just watch the rolling of the fondant and the covering of the fondant as we move along. Very important, you must have icing sugar on the surface. This is to prevent the fondant or sugar paste from sticking to the surface. Very important. You need to keep rolling from all angles because we are trying to cover a round cake. So roll from all angles, move the fondant around just to make sure you're checking that it hasn't stuck to your board. Now, for you to know whether it's set for covering, you need to check out the thickness of the fondant. Fondant must not be too thin it must not be too thick. Dust the surface with a little bit of corn flour. That's a smoother and smoothing it with a smoother. I'm sure many of these things might be strange to you. Don't worry, come along to the Mix and Bake shop and uh, we would explain better what these tools are used for. So, we are set to cover. Lift with the palm of your hands and place on the cake. Remember the butter icing on the cake 
is to make the fondant stick to the cake. That's the reason why we cover the fondant, the, cover the cake with a layer of butter icing. Very important. So you keep spreading. Watch the movement of the hands. Spread it at every point because if, when you don't spread and you use your palm on it, it forms a fold. So you need to spread the fold out, use your palm, and continue uh, smoothing out the surface of the cake. That's a cutting wheel. It's also called a pizza cutter. You cut off any excess. To take off the excesses from the side of the board, after using your cutting wheel to cut off some excess, the knife gives you a sharper cut on the edge to make a smooth finish. Then the next thing you will need is a turntable to place the finished fondant cake on. Okay, we will be showing you the step-by-step -step of how we got that pretty green and yellow cake there. The first thing we will be starting with is the embossed surface on the board. We will be using this cutter called the patchwork rose cutter to emboss. So just watch how the design was achieved. You push down the cutter on the surface of the fondant covered board and you keep lifting it out after embossing. Make sure you push in properly so that the design shows on it. It's a really pretty design and uh, that's how that was achieved. Isn't that so beautiful? Now the next thing we're going to show you is the covering of the board. I mean we don't want to leave the board open. We want to cover it with a ribbon. So that's the next thing we'll be doing. What we're using is a paper ribbon. You can get that in any store around town, a paper ribbon. Then we will also be using butter icing to stick the ribbon to the board. It can be butter icing, it can be royal icing, it can even be glue, okay? So you start by piping some butter icing on the board. And then you cover with the ribbon, the paper ribbon. That's to enhance the beauty of the cake. All right, this is about all we can uh, teach in this episode. In the next episode, we'll continue with the other designs on the cake, the fabric effects bow, the ribbon insertion, the bottom border, and uh, lots more. If you have any questions, the uh, numbers are scrolling on the screen. Uh, visit our website. Uh, come around to our shop for any questions whatsoever, for more information. And of course, if you want to do a hands-on training, you're always welcome. We'll teach you like no one else would, and you'll be an expert in no time. So uh, I want you to have a great week. Go back, sit down, practice all we've been teaching you, and do have a great day.